Hey guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here bringing you the next episode in our Addicted to Addicts Football Manager 2015 series. Two announcements to start the video. Number one, I've hit 200 subscribers! Oh, I can't believe it. 200 people have subscribed to me. All I do is rant about kebabs. But no, seriously, thank you so much. It means the world. I don't know where the sudden growth has come from or why you somehow find this series funny. All it is is me getting angry at Frank Musa and then playing the game. I would say terribly, but I'm not doing that bad anymore, am I? So, but no, honestly, it's great to have your support and like to try and get a little community going and build more series. Like, I won't only just be doing a Charlton one. I'm sure there'll be a non-league one at some point. Maybe some obscure country like Benin for a national team. I was doing that with a couple of mates the other day. There's a lot of potential here, and I know that I can screw just about every team in the game over, so that is definitely on my agenda. Morgan Fox is back, which is great, which means Holby City is finally getting abolished. But the other announcement is you can see probably once again that the video is a bit shorter. That's because it's Mama J- hang on. <laughs> Are you joking me? Just as we finally get rid of Ebola, Chris Solly lifts weights in the gym and hurts himself. He lifts weights. What's he trying to do? Impress some blonde girl that works at reception? Get a grip, Chris. I mean, come on. That's not right. What a letdown. I mean, Goodmanson's on the right now. Solly's upset. We've got no right back. I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm going to cry so much. This isn't good. This is a nightmare. We've lost Solly before the Ipswich game. But back to the point I was making, there is no upload yesterday because it was actually Mama Jenko Sports' birthday. So obviously it's a bit rum to upload there. But we are back. You still get your daily uploads, so you can't really ever go for, you know, not uploading a lot. I know I've been a bit slack recently, but I've been quite busy. I just couldn't really imagine a scenario going, hey, Mum, happy birthday, here's your presents. I've got to go and edit two matches of Football Manager, so I'll, uh, I'll see you later, all right? But we're here against Ipswich. Can we beat them without Big Chris Solly? Or is there maybe a different fate here? We've got to do well. Bearing in mind, we're on a really good run recently. Four games unbeaten, two wins on the bounce. Ipswich aren't doing too badly. They could be doing a lot better though, bear in mind, when you look at their championship position. Here's how the squad is going to line up. We still trust Stephen Henderson in goal. Now that could be a killer mistake. I mean, bear in mind, he's got again the consistency of diarrhea to keep using the same simile. But we're just experimenting here with what could work and what wouldn't. I don't really want to change it too much though because at the moment, this is working. We don't want to go drastically changing, putting wingers here, there and everywhere and dropping people back. This is a working formation, we don't want to mess with it, and keep Nacho well out of the way. I don't care if he's complaining, get him well out of it, we don't need him in the squad right now, he's just bringing us down. As lovely as he is to rip his name out day in, day out, for the start on 11 he's not ideal, he just makes a lot of mistakes, and he's about as talented as Titus Bramble, in all honesty. <laughs> There's no other term for it, he's just useless, he's absolutely dreadful, probably the worst decision I've ever made on this FM game so far. And I've managed Charlton. That's a bad decision in itself. But now look at this. Ten seconds into the match. To Gideon. Looking for his man Vettikele. Just spinning around. Finds Frank Musa. Vettikele is well offside. Oh, he's back onside now. No, offside again. Yep. Move, Igor. There he goes. He's got the ball. Oh, my God. He won it up. Get it out. Oh. Well, we were offside. Well, there's an anticlimax if I've ever seen one. Jesus Christ, come on, we must have had another fast goal then inside a minute, and yet we're still nil-nil. Why? Why? It was offside for a solid 16 minutes there. I'm not even joking, he was just stood there watching the other defenders. If he was looking ahead of him, then fair enough, but he wasn't. He was just staring at the defenders behind him. That's atrocious, and now Henderson has had to make a big save. Big Stevie H, Jackson with the ball in there, can we get to the head? No, we can't really, but big Callum Harriet. Plays it down. Whipping across, big JJ. Go on. And we're off. To Gideon. Oh. All right. Almost. Baby steps. Come on. We're almost at half time. Jesus, there's been no highlights in this game. Big Wiggins. To Gideon. Squats again. I literally don't understand how Laurie Wilson is scoring so much. I don't get it. It's like one every other episode now. He's not that good. He's a right midfielder or right back, depending on if Chris Solly's injured. He should not be blasting in shots like that. I'm not going to complain. I mean, obviously his man bun has mystical powers that I'm overseeing here. Maybe it's to do with his November. I mean, you know, we are November now. Oh, my God, Stephen Henderson. Oh, my God, Stephen Henderson. Don't put me through that daily, please. That is horrible. Oh, I thought we were going to die then. 
Oh, I thought we'd lost it. But somehow we're still ahead of Ipswich going for yet another victory. Look at that block there. Absolute meaty at the back. Not quite a mosh pit, but nonetheless still a little bit meaty. Johnny Jackson plays the ball through. And he's got a bit blocked there, and he bless him. So just try and create some space. That's all you need. Edge of half time. That's it. There's Big Vettakele. Usain Bolt in disguise. Bit of support coming as well. Big Frank. Big Frank. Drop the... Oh, dear. Oh, that's a mosh pit. You can't be doing that. That's a red card. Jesus. That was crowd killing. That was an absolute spin kick there. Just a yellow. Are you joking me? Michael Morrison spat on the floor and been sent off for that. Roman's free kick. We've never scored a free kick before. Oh my god, we have now! <laughs> and the new signing, Big Joan Roman, has scored a free kick. Adon Belovit. Look at that. Oh, that was just picture perfect, that was. I can't believe as well the fact that he was worth 425k when we bought him. That's what we paid for him. And now, he's worth 3.4 million. 3.4 million for Roman. That's blistering. Adon Belovit. Little... Oh, no. Oh, Christ. Steve Anderson just stood there like a lemon then. Make an effort, big Steve. You know, you don't have to dive around the net like a Sam. Oh, my. Look at the pace of Etikele. Go on. Finish it, my son. Finish it. Or don't. You know, because you're normally quite good from there, Igor. I thought we had something special. If you don't want to finish it and you just want to start prancing about, that's fine. But don't complain to me when I nick your Muller corner from the changing room and now they've scored. I'm blaming that on you. We should still have a two-goal advantage until someone decided to dick about in front of goal. It's like you've gone up to a girl in your local nightclub. She's looked pretty hot. You've gone up to her and you've gone, you like cheddar? And she's just turned around and looked at you and gone, what? And you go, kebab? And then she's had none of it. That's what's happened there, Eagle. That was wasteful. You know, you've been on point this season. You've been banging in more goals than I've banged girls. I've only banged two, for the record. Okay, she's banging more. Shut up. Shut up, all of you. We didn't come here today to look at Liam's sex life and judge it. We came here today to have a go at Eagle because he's being shit, to put it in a word there. I, I, no, I can't slag him off. He's done really well this season, actually. I, I feel quite mean now. I'm sorry, Eagle. When you look at his stats, he's actually been blasting a moan. I mean, it's been like two, three a game normally. I don't know what that was by Goodmanson. I think he's blasted that into space, to be honest. There's no other term for it. Wilson with a bit of a Rory Delap throw, what we like to see. Bit of strength now with the old arms from the man bun. I'm telling you, he's Vettikele's done it again. Losing up with an E to Stephen Henderson now of up front. It's close to the stage this game where Simon Church may have been a better option. No, no, it's not that bad. I don't think it could ever be that bad where no matter what, you could be 7 0 down, miss four penalties, hit the bar twice, and fire six over the bar, and Simon Church would still be a worse option. So, yeah, big up Vettikele. He's done well. He's just had an off day. Hang on. Make up for it, Eagle. Make up for it now. Make it. Oh, he's done it! Eagle Vettikele's done it. Look, he's made up for all of that problem. All of the error. All of the missing. Like an absolute arse wipe. Eagle Vettikele's done it. Oh. You can keep your Muller corner now, Igor. It's all right. We've won 3-1. So that's it. End of the game. Oh, I don't know why they're pissed off. Oh, they're happy. And they're even happier. There we go. That's how you do team talks at the Valley. But another win sees us move into fourth position, gents. Fourth position in the league. That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Oh my. Oh, that gave me a little willy tingle thinking of that. That gave me dick butterflies reading that. 3-1, Derby win 4-0, but that doesn't matter. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode again. I know I've been a bit sloppy recently. I've been really busy and obviously my mum had a birthday. And now I've got work tonight and then Thursday and Sunday. So it's getting a lot harder to upload and get stuff down. But I'm trying my best. So I know it's only one match. And I know there should be an extra four minutes of banter with Frank Musa and Vettikele. But it is coming. Thank you so much for hitting me 200. Not literally hitting me. I don't think I'd ever thank anyone for hitting me. That's that's a bit bad. Like if I've got a broken nose, I won't go, thank you. But no, seriously. Getting me to 200 subscribers means the world. I didn't think I'd get this far. To get 200 actual real people that are men. Okay, that sounds like I'm gay. The point is, all right. 200 people have subscribed and liked my videos. That means a lot to me because I think I'm terrible, all right? 
But yeah, it means the world that you support my content, you subscribe and you check it out every day and leave me very romantically weird comments at times. I mean, you know, that's always cute and a little bit creepy. But yeah, thanks for everything guys. From myself, Jenko Sports, please subscribe if you haven't already because you will get a visit from me to your house with a bouquet of flowers and a bottle of Bacardi Breezer. But I will see you in our next episode very soon.